Hi, the internet. Welcome to the What Else Show. I'm your host, Robert. This is Bethany. Hi, internet. And we've got another What Else Show for you today. Bethany, what is our What Else Show about today? Our What Else topic is the virus. <laughs> the virus? Coronavirus? COVID-19? Is that COVID-19. what it's about? COVID-19. I didn't want to do this episode, but I felt like it would be irresponsible not to do an episode right it's what's, right. It's what's happening in it's, the world right now you can't happening. get away from it it's real it's raw every it's, it's raw it's affecting everybody my gosh it is yeah yeah so i just thought we'd tell people are stressed people are scared i mean we can't go to the movies we can't review a movie we can't go to a restaurant yeah. we can't review a restaurant yeah and we could talk about some other stupid topic like a Rorschach test or whatever. But we decided we would talk about this. Yes. And yes. how it's affecting us. Yes. Okay. Uh, first, how's it affecting you? How do you feel? How do you feel about it? Um, I don't feel good. You don't like it. I, I, I don't feel good and also I don't feel well at all. So, so I, I don't feel good. I don't feel good about what's going on in the world. I don't feel good about where we are, you know, as, as people just even in our, in our own home, things are upside down and, um, it's really stressful and sure. I, you know, and I'm also not feeling well. So it's like, so you're slowly dying. <laughs> I am. I probably am. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not worried about the virus so much. I'm not really in the age group to be killed, right? To be dead, <laughs> right? I'm not in the dead age group. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, it really depends on who you ask. Anyways, um, I'm unfazed, unfazed. I would say. Unfazed. I'm not really worried about the virus. Uh, I am worried about society. <laughs> I think society is the one taking the major hit opposed to yeah. the, the the illness itself. Um, other than that, I mean, it's really hard to buy. Well, let's, let's give everybody a snapshot. Somebody 20 years from now is watching our show because obviously people have heard the legends. They want to go back. They want to see how the show started. <laughs> Right, right. So they're we're, we're you know they're watching the show twenty years in the future. Yeah, and we we have what's going on now. This is going on now. Yeah, this is going on now. They're only reading about it in their history, their holographic history book. Right, right. right. So so we should give them a taste of what life is actually like for the people going through this right now. So right. so the year was twenty twenty, and I I don't know what to say. <laughs> There's not really much going on. There, there's not really much going on. We're all on, not like. We're not on lockdown. It's suggested you don't go anywhere. Yeah, it it is suggested. So we, I think we should talk about our location where we are situated in relation to a lot of epicenter or a lot of uh, the epicenter of all the activity of the virus. Right. Pacific Northwest. The pa- yes. Yeah, so we are in the Pacific Northwest. Washington. We're in Washington specifically. I've been working from home. Right. For it, it suggested that people don't go anywhere. People are still going places. People still are going places. All the restaurants are closed. They do delivery and, and um, carry out and exactly they'll leave it at your door. They're yeah. they're closed, but like they're not closed, mm-hmm. right? So like uh, the other day, I w- went past a Subway sandwiches, right? Mm-hmm. Sub Subway sub sandwiches. Yeah. And their mascot is Jared. I don't think it's Jared. Anymore. No, I'm pretty sure. It's I still, think that ship has sailed. It's still Jared. <laughs> Anyways, okay. anyways, it's open, but you can't eat there. So you have to go in, <laughs> grab your food, and leave. Yeah. Get out. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get the hell out. Yeah. They don't want you there. Right. I saw some people eating Panera in their car, mm-hmm. which is interesting. It seems like everybody's like um, a high school kid, you know, eating in their car and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because it's it's like we're trying to adjust to this new way of of living. I mean, I I hated working from home. It it really used to cause me a lot of anxiety and like I'm I'm literally working in a corner of the studio like we're like right over there. My desk is like right there. So, 
I think that 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 really um, that has changed immensely. N- nothing for me has changed. Nothing has changed. I go into work. You're still going to work every day. Mom is still going to work. Mm-hmm. I'm interacting with all the people, so I'm with the public. Yep. And then I bring it back to you. Yeah. Who is not not in the public? I'm not in the public. I'm Seems s- counterintuitive. I'm right there. I guess day. you are not getting people sick. I'm not getting people sick. I'm sure that I am sick. I'm, I'm sure that definitely I definitely getting people sick. Yeah. A lady touched my arm the other day. Yeah. Dude, what was she thinking? People. Don't touch people. Don't touch people. It's just just don't. Even when there's not a pandemic, don't touch people. Exactly. <laughs> I'm hoping after this pandemic, some of this stuff, like, I hope there's not a bounce back where everybody's like all hugging all the oh time. Oh my gosh. That's hope, not your thing at all. I hope yeah. it's more like, um, no more handshakes. You no know more, what? No more. I kind of liked not no touching people all the time and I don't want to do it anymore and I'm not going to. Yeah. Definitely not strangers. I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> that would be your jam. Yeah. To just not, not touch anymore. I'm going to stay yeah. further away from people. <clears throat> which they're not doing right now. So I don't know how they would do it in the future. Yeah. This is a lot of rambling. Okay. So we were talking about how our lives have, have changed. How lives have changed. Lives have changed because, because of this. But we, we really wanted to kind of talk about specifically like how our lives have changed as, you know, we're kind of going through this because, you know, maybe other people can relate or maybe you're reading things in the news and you think the state of Washington is, you know, like. As of yet apocalyptic but um it's it's not things we're, are still kind of normal. we're not on lockdown we're not on lockdown the our we, city's mayor did release um a suggestion that only um only going out when it's absolutely critical and only critical businesses operate and stay open but it's a suggestion it's not really um enforceable yeah yeah since i go out every day to work because they make me <laughs> Because it's, I don't know, I could probably just say, hey, work, I don't want to come in. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> you, they, they'd probably understand, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'd well, rather not do that. Yeah. Well, I think the thing that a lot of people are running into is they're scared to go to work, but they're expected to go. Mm-hmm. And if they don't go, then they have to use their sick time. Well, if something happens and they do end up getting sick, then they're going to be out of sick time because they used it all because they were too scared to go to work. And so we have this kind of, you know, we have this conundrum that a lot like retail workers is this a catch twenty two facing and or is this a double edged sword? I think it's all of the things. Is this the way the cookie crumbles? It's all of the things. <laughs> oh, look at right there. Sorry. Anyways, I told you I'm not. Like I was I saying, know. I feel like I I'm going to go to the store tomorrow, the grocery store, because because w- we ha- we have things that we need. Yeah, I wasn't prepared to stay locked up. You know, mm-hmm. but also I go out every day. I feel like I should have carte blanche to move around if I'm going to be out every day working. That's an excellent point. I should be able to go to the store. That's an excellent it's point. The same thing. Yes, because you've already infected a bunch of people. Already infected. I'm infected, and I've infected yeah. thousands already. And I'm sure that I infected you, and we infected mom we by should, proximity. We I'm should sure. say that we are. One person away from a known infected positive, right? Yes. yes. One degree. Yes. Should I explain? Should I explain the... I thought I just did. Well, well, I mean, like, should I go into detail? No, why? Oh. You want to give out all kinds of people's other information? No, 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 no. no. I wasn't going to, like, say names or anything like that. I was just going to... give out people's home address? I was just going to explain the proximity. Ground zero. There's a dude. Get (laughs) them. Well, here's the thing is like, like, that's how it works, right? It's like, you have these varying degrees of like, you know, exposure. So, you know, I was exposed because I was exposed to somebody who was exposed and they were exposed to somebody who was exposed. And that person has conclusively tested positive. Oh, I never know where you're going. I always so, feel like I can jump in. But. So, yeah. So in, in kind of this, you know, there's like this chain where um, a very close coworker of mine was exposed. And so like my whole team was exposed to her. And so now we're all working from home. And so we're all trying to figure out like, well, do we have it? And, you know, she's got 
I don't know, 11 or 12 people in front of her, in line in front of her to be tested. And the other person who is exposed has like 19 people in front of her to be tested. Um, and then the first person, it took over a week to get the test results back. That that individual was positive. And so we have all of these things happening that it's like, okay, I'm just going to take a logical guess and I'm assuming that I have it because I worked in very close proximity. Right, and I'm assuming I have it because right. I'm out there every day. <laughs> right. Yeah, and I'm sure if I didn't give it to you, somebody else did and you're now giving it to other people. I feel like we're giving it to each other back and forth. All the time. All the time. Constantly. Just constantly. <laughs> <laughs> you're not six feet. You need to move over. You're not six feet away. I don't think we could both be on camera. I don't think six we could both be. The camera would be. We'd have to move the camera back. We would be so and, tiny if yeah. we were six feet apart. I don't think this room would support it. We would have to honest. do a split screen. <laughs> we should have done this over. We should have done a split screen. We should have done this over Skype. We should have. Yeah. We should have. We're so stupid. We should. Maybe done I can put a, Skype. a black bar <laughs> between us, like we're in totally different. We're to totally different. And I should boop, look, boop, like boop. look more ahead the whole time. Bethany, can you hear me? Wait, no, can't touch me while I'm doing it. <laughs> Bethany, can That's you hear me? That's why I touched you to, to ruin Am I coping. coming in clearly? Is my internet connection uh, fantastic? Ro Robert, I, I read you loud and clear. <laughs> What's the situation? Okay, I'm tired of doing this already. This is awful. Awesome. That's why we didn't do it that We would not do a show way. like that. There's no There's possible no way. There's no possible way. There's no possible I way. I can barely keep looking at the camera no whilst possible. we're doing most episodes. Most of the time in the show, you just see my beak, you know, just like, mm. <laughs> It's awful. <laughs> What's your practice? Boom. Camera. Audience. Hi, the internet. <laughs> uh, what, what were we talking about? We were talking about the the global COVID-19 oh. virus and how it has affected our lives. Then why are you having so much fun laughing, by the way, <laughs> if we're talking about something so serious? Because, hmm. well, Shows how much I you mean, care about others. <laughs> I do. Okay, so, yeah emotions definitely running high right you should when there's a virus you should leave all emotions out of it <laughs> right i don't think that that's possible uh it's hard it's hard to do we're going <clears throat> through a pandemic right now mm -hmm. by the definition of the word which i'm not sure of now, what does that mean just a a virus I'm that's spreading quickly i think it's just a quick quick new quick spreading virus i think it's the definition of a pandemic. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that's what Webster says. Anyways, do you think this is like, um, like people are going to talk about this? Like, oh, it was like the plague. There were bodies. They're just piling up in the streets, you know? Um, Things are always a little crazier when you, when you read about them. Yeah, exaggeration. Yeah. Like gross exaggeration. So you think they were grossly exaggerating? You think they were just oh, like, no. oh, they're delivering food still, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I feel like that as humans, we are prone to exaggeration and wow. sensationalism. And um, I mean. You're a black plague denier. I, oh. Crazy. No. It's you heard it here first, <laughs> kids. <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that in our situation, I think some people are downplaying the severity. And um, I also some think that maybe some people are up playing it. are maybe blowing it out of proportion. And be, because in certain areas, it is really bad. In certain countries, it is really bad. In certain cities. In certain, it's definitely it's in certain nursing homes. Really bad. <laughs> right? Yes. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. I don't know why you laughed at that. Uh, because, <laughs> well, it'll be like, I mean, I don't know if you guys know how it started in Seattle, but um, yeah, somebody visited a nursing home and... Just coughed right in everybody's mouth. I mean, Open up, buddy. They, and I mean, it just kind of spread from there. And, um, you know, I, I think that people were not using their common sense in continuing to visit that nursing home even after it came out that that nursing home was kind of a breeding ground for this virus and people still continued to visit the nursing home and go out in public. So I think we were doomed from the start. Yeah, and people always say, oh, once somebody's in a nursing home, nobody ever visits. <laughs> Another lie, <laughs> right? Another lie from the media, <laughs> right? Sensation is that where you're going? Sensationalism. That's where you're going with that. Sensationalism. That's that wasn't wasn't exactly where I was going with that. Oh. But um, but but I appreciate your your input. 
I, I appreciate your input on that one. Should we leave before people die of boredom before they die of this virus? <laughs> I, th- I think so. I think so. So I, th- I think overall, I think what we're trying to tell people. What are we trying to tell people? We're trying I to would tell, like to know. <laughs> we're trying to tell people that you're not alone. This is impacting everybody. And don't panic, but be safe and do your best to, to stay healthy. And what? Oh, it just kills me when you try and give like hopeful, like oh advice. <laughs> Listen to me. I am the, okay, I am a beacon okay. of hope in the darkness. <laughs> okay, okay. So you you take us out. So tell us what Robert. What it, what are we trying to tell people today? I'm trying to tell people stop being babies. Go inside. Close your goddamn door. <laughs> Don't go outside unless you need to. It'll all be over soon. Shut up. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell people. Do we have different messages? <laughs> I'm going out every day. <laughs> I know. I know. That's the problem, right? Yeah. If they Because we have these companies that are like, If they would like, tell me to stop, to I would work. definitely you know. stop. And well, they're well, like, yeah. hey, don't come in tomorrow. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> How about this? I'll stay gone two days. <laughs> the whole week? All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. But the problem is that that's not happening, right? I guess. That's the problem is that like we still have, you know, you're still going to work every day. I wouldn't even mind if they didn't pay me. I just, just want those sweet days. Off. <laughs> <laughs> those sweet weekday, can't even go outside, movie watching. I know. Game playing, Uber eating yeah. days. Come on, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's, Not that's even our sick. life. Not even sick, Not bro. even sick yeah well you're not even infected sick. but not sick wait infected but non-symptomatic i'm know, gonna see I don't if i can get you symptomatic <laughs> that's my goal you can try bro i'm gonna try and make you as I... sick as possible so i can be like welcome to the club no <laughs> you could try i don't know <laughs> you're already spitting in my face i don't know what else you could possibly do i don't know i think that's it God, we tried to leave a second ago, Bethany. We tried. We tried. Okay, so um, do you want to take another run at your message? What's your overall message? I don't know. I don't know. Do you know? Do you know? If you know, write in the comments. I don't know. I don't have a message. I'm not the person to look for for messages. I'm just living my life, you know? I'm doing what other people are telling me to do. (laughs) I don't know the answer. What are you doing? What is I'm, your message? I'm I'm kind of the same as you, I guess. I'm just doing what other people are telling me to do. I mean, I, I'm working from home. Um, if I get too sick that I can't work anymore, then obviously I'm not going to be able to work from home anymore and I'll just be sick, you know? But, yeah. I mean, that's that's really, that's all I can do. That's really all I can do. Yeah. You know, I think everybody is just really just doing all they can do. I don't think everybody's doing all they can do. Yeah, you're right. Most We're people, not even... most people are making a good faith effort to do all they can do, but there are some people who are not. <laughs> uh, I don't even, I, I think this is one of those, I think this is like one of those things that's perfect for me is you don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's what I like doing. Right. I'm way better when people are like, uh, you know what we need you to do? Nothing. And I'm like, I'm already there. I'm already doing that. Our, uh, yep. I, way ahead of you. <laughs> You've already jumped in with both feet yep. into that. I've been doing nothing for months in anticipation. <laughs> You've had a lot of practice. Yeah. Yes, yes. We've had a lot of practice. At- Bro. We we're, make, we're great at, <laughs> at being affected by a pandemic because we're just kind of living our regular life. The only thing that's changed is that I'm home now. Yeah, you're so home so I'm much so- more. <laughs> I'm home so much more now. But, you know, it's it's fun. It's fun because, you know, we kind of have like a new ro- routine now that I'm I'm home. And all I do is I just close my computer and I walk downstairs as opposed to If you were working, back and forth. working from home forever, right? Mm-hmm. You're new world you're everybody works from home now yeah right i would love that i would love that like if everybody works from home that means everybody works over the internet Mm -hmm. where do you live we could live anywhere that's what i'm well you can't live on the moon but yeah (laughs) okay um probably somewhere in the uk uk england london because you know you know i've always wanted to to move to london we almost moved isn't london super expensive um you know, 
I think it's all relative because, like, living in Seattle is super expensive. Uh, we don't have to live in London. I we would could rather just move, you know, live over there. in uh, a palace somewhere where the dollar is very strong, you know? Servants and whatnot. <laughs> A lot of inequality, if you know what I mean. Wow. A lot of desperate people that'll do anything for money, you know? Good Lord. Uh, Yeah, no, I don't want to live somewhere like that. I want to live in Paris, Venice, or London. Oh, my God. Do you know what it's like? It would be so fun to live in Venice. You know what it's like in Venice Venice right now? I have no idea. (laughs) We loved Venice when we were there. Yeah, but that was before before the apocalypse. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, apocalypse notwithstanding, maybe Venice might. Did they close off that one street that goes into Venice? (laughs) Like, nope, nobody. Nope, nobody. (laughs) Yep, you were, yep. I mean, Venice Venice is a really easy city to shut down. Yeah, unless one person gets in. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, that's true. That one person, like, crawled under the gate. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I, I, we could live anywhere. You know what? We could live in a different place every month. Hey, you know what? We'll great, live in a palace for Great month. answer. I gave we'll you. Venice every month. I gave you one chance to give one answer, and you did not do that. Great answer, Bethany. I said London. I think. And then you got mad. The virus is affecting your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Can we leave? Can we please leave? (laughs) Yes. Okay. I'm going to take us out. Take us out. You can follow the show on Twitter at what else show. You can follow us on Instagram at the what else show. You can send us email at the what else show at gmail.com. Like, subscribe and share. I don't know why you would do that. (laughs) And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye, Internet. Bye, Internet. Oh, my God, I'm a hoarder. (laughs) Objects bring me joy.